side, so you can sort of feel an uptick in terms of the crowd energy. A lot of these fans came to watch this man who you think has the skill set to be a future UFC champion. I do, John, and I will go on record saying that. I believe this kid has a huge future ahead of him. He has a ton of skills. He checks all the boxes. He's got the wrestling, he's got the grappling, he's got the cardio, he's got the toughness. He can do it all, but it is on him now to make good on all the work that him and his team have done to put him in this position. And the UFC, as you well know, does a masterful job with the matchmaking. When a fighter is this hyped and gets to this point of their career, they give him a guy who they think can beat him. We'll see how he handles this challenge tonight. Well, I guess there's a ceiling in terms of what you can accomplish financially and otherwise in the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu world, so we're certainly happy to see this young man cross over. There is no questioning his ground game, and Daniel, a lot of people believe it's going to translate at the highest level here in Mixed Martial Yeah, Arts. absolutely, and, and he's shown, John, that he can do that. He's shown that he has the ability to grapple, and not only grapple, fight anyone. He does it at the highest level, so let's see how he implements that Jiu-Jitsu base in the fight tonight against a guy that would seem to have all the answers. Yeah. It's an uphill battle, it but he says that he can get it in. Yeah, we talked about that in the fighter meeting. He kind of gave us a smirk, seemingly as if he knows something we don't. We'll see if BJJ indeed reigns supreme here tonight. Why both fighters have graced the octagon, and that means we are ready to go with live action from the Scotiabank Arena here in Toronto, where some of the best fans in all of MMA have come out to see our fights here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Robert Malon. And now we introduce his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, the Haitian sensation, Neil Magnet. All right, Herb Dean, our Ready referee fight. for this one, just Ready. about to get underway. Date line, Toronto, Ontario, Canada, back at the Scotiabank Arena. There's been a lot of UFC history in this building already. You know, a lot of UFC history, but the main event has always been two guys, whether it's John Jones versus somebody or Max Holloway versus somebody. Those guys have made this arena the second home for their career. All right, so a big takedown for him early. We kind of expected this would be the game plan, and so far, so good. Well, he's a bit of a specialist, and he knew that he needed this fight on the, on the floor. That's exactly right. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Trying to finish the armor here. All he's got to do now is take his time, and the finish will present itself. No, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Getting absolutely worked from the top here on the wrong end of nearly all of these ground and pound strikes. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Well, he's got his back now. Well, Magny's right back to the full mount. Lance with the ground and pound. Tighter, tighter. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Magny's going for a choke here. 
Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Also, how about that position over submission as he bails on the sub? I think... Oh! Right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Right leg. over to my left, UFC President Dana White. I think he's making out the bonus check right now. Incredible back and forth action. Sign the check, boss. These two young men deserve 50,000. Hell, let's give them each 100,000 for the performance that they just put on in one round. Both were hurt. Both were able to withstand the punishment, and I can't wait until the next round gets started. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to, to try to change the way Ready. that this fight is going. All right, round two. So a block on the strike, and now the counter jab for good measure. Nice job by the longer fighter there. Oh, and he caught the kick. That's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he's looking at him. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking. That pass by the bottom fighter. Oh, nice. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. <laughs> Takes his back now. Magni's in half guard now. Under three minutes here to go in the round. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taking to this cut. Easier said than done, though. We now go to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 22 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Haitian sensation, Neil Magny! So how about this Neil Magny cat? All he does is win. Forget the betting odds, forget the film breakdown. Magny